What's going on guys? Good morning. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, welcome. Think about subscribing. We're going to be talking about Mullen stock today. Don't forget to like this video before we get started. I truly appreciate you. If we could get this over 200 likes, that'd be amazing. That's pretty much it. Don't forget to grab your coffee. Here's mine. You know what I think is funny is the ads that they're using is about coffee. Starbucks is advertising on my videos. Thought that was funny since we always talk about coffee. Anyways, happy Saturday guys. Hope you had a great week. We closed green yesterday, which is very exciting. I'm gonna show you the charts today and show you exactly what happened and why we fell down all the way to just above 33 cents. Okay, we're also gonna go into something very exciting with Vanguard Group. So you wanna stay tuned for that. And then also we're gonna talk a little bit about Menzies and go a little deeper into it and look at what the vice president is saying about Mullen Company. None of this is financial advice. I just make videos to give you guys my own opinion. I'm not a financial advisor. Let's get into it. First thing I wanna get into, uh, Main Z058 shared this on Twitter. Vanguard Group reports 102% increase in ownership of Mullen Automotive. This is a big deal. Why is this a big deal? Well, we know Vanguard and BlackRock do not lend out their shares to short Mullen stock, but also they've increased their position. So now this is from quarter four, okay? They increased their position. They now have over 45 million shares of Mullen stock valued at $13 million. As of 12-31-2022, they increased it to um, $45 million. That's pretty significant. Um, now we're starting to get into why I think Mullen will easily get over a dollar. There will be no reverse stock split. We will not go to the OTC market. Institutions are buying in heavy now. I really do believe that we're on the ground floor when it comes to Mullen stock right now. I have been in this stock since September of 2022. I first bought in at 58 cents and I started dollar cost averaging down. We've obviously been covering this a lot closer starting in November, the charts and the news. So if you've been a part of the channel, you're probably in profit right now, which is really good. So congratulations to you. But this is really big news about Vanguard and I think more institutions are gonna start buying in because of the good news that we have, the partnerships that we have, the deals that Mullen has made so far. Now I'm gonna show you the charts, but before I do that, go refill your coffee. All right, so we have been trading Mullen stock because it has been pretty easy to kind of tell where are we going next. And I wanna show you guys what happened. So if you see at the top blue arrow right there, we were testing uh, basically the old resistance and that was just around 44 cents. So we couldn't break above that. Plus we have this descending trend line coming down and then what happens, Mullen comes down, right? Now the reason we actually touched 33 and some change yesterday was because if you take the top of the FIB, it retraced all the way down to the 618, right? So the next move that we're looking for is we're looking for a close above 37 and a half cents. If we get that close above 37 and a half cents, then we can move up to about 40 cents. And then if we close above 40 cents plus this descending trend line right here, that's when we take our next move up to 51 cents, which I have been saying on these videos if you have been following this channel. Now, you know me and I'm very cautious, so I like to be safe, especially with Mullen stock because it moves so volatile. What I can also see, worst case scenario, is if we do not hold the 618 right here, which is pretty much 33 cents. Let's say if we don't hold 33 cents and we close below 33 cents, then I could see us potentially come down to about 29 and a half cents. Okay, so you wanna be cautious. You always wanna have money on the side ready to go. Um, this is why we trade and we have a long-term bag. If you wanna learn more about the chart analysis and take an even deeper dive, check out the Patreon down below. It's $7 a month. We have 79 members so far and it's an awesome community to be a part of. We're talking a lot about mindset, other stocks, and of course, Mullen. 
This article came out yesterday, which is a really big deal. It's talking about LAX and Molin and uh, Menzies, right? So let's dive deep into this. So we've been covering this news. We know what's going on. They have a deal with Menzies for a trial run for 60 days, okay? The crazy thing is 60 days is also around the time where um, other deliveries should be happening like Randy Marion should be at the end before the end of quarter one. Uh, we obviously have Igo that we're still kind of waiting on for Mullen to announce. We saw that it was live on another website. But with Menzies, this is also aligning with the 60 day period by the end of quarter one, which is really interesting because if they get this deal with Menzies, then the stock is going to go through the freaking roof. Okay. But let's just talk about this real quick. I really want to show you what the vice president said about Mullen Company. I think it's a really big deal when other CEOs, other executives from other companies, especially from a company like Menzies, which has been around for a long time and is the number one company when it comes to travel in airports, what they are saying about Mullen Company. John Redman, executive vice president of Menzies Aviation said, collaborating with suppliers, airports, and our airline customers is absolutely vital for Menzies to achieve its sustainability goals. We have committed to switching to electric vehicles. We have committed to switching to electric vehicles wherever possible to reduce our carbon emissions. However, charging infrastructure can be a barrier, so it's great to be working with both Molin and Loop to pilot a solution at LAX. Do you guys see what he's saying? It's so great to be working with both Molin and Loop to pilot a solution at LAX. Early feedback is positive and I'm looking forward to seeing the results from this collaboration. I honestly think this is very bullish, okay? And I've been covering this news every day, whatever Molin's going on, whatever partnerships they get, but this is probably one of the biggest things that I have seen over the last four months that I think is a huge deal. This could be the, the news, the information that gets us over $1. I do have price targets that are higher than a dollar, but I do believe we will become compliant with NASDAQ. I don't think there'll be a reverse stock split. I think Mullen is doing all the right things. And I'm gonna stay bullish on Mullen. The charts are looking good. The news is looking good. You just have to stay strong and understand that on red days, this thing can go green just like that. Have a great Saturday, have a great weekend. We'll see you on the next one.